Okay. Hi, it's Chiba Mama here with Ma with Mama Kaboom on Cooking with Kaboom Thursdays. We are doing an audio because honestly, we're just being lazy today. Uh, so, Mama, what got you started in cannabis cooking? Go for it. Um, I need for years struggled with stomach issues and uh, unbeknownst to me had a very rare genetic disease um, that I affected things like digestion um, and other major issues in my body but uh, it started initially just because I had trouble keeping foods down and I needed to find what I could eat so I had to keep food diaries and learn how to cook recipes that I never knew before. And um, I ended up addicted to it. And now I want to teach other people how much of their own life that they can gain back by not being intimidated by cannabis cooking. That's awesome. So because I, I, she is also my adopted mom from when, I was growing up, so I'm going to answer questions, ask questions that, like, wouldn't necessarily make sense to normal people. Uh, <laughs> so, what are your plans right now, currently? You are, uh, unfortunately stuck in an unlegalized, uncool state, um, but... By doing this, I can give you the ability to put your recipes out there so that eventually you can come up with a cannabis cookbook. That's the plan. But um, because of my health and different life issues, the cookbook has not been completed as fast as I'd like to be, but I still feel like it's very important for people to understand and not be intimidated by cannabis cooking. There's no reason to be intimidated. So knowing me and knowing that I like my microwave, how intimidated should I be from in, from cannabis cooking? I have very simple recipes and I have very complex recipes and we'll never start with anything over your head. We always start out the whole idea of the cookbook and teaching anybody to do this is to not teach, not give them something that they haven't already learned all the important steps from. So, like, you'll never have anything that you read out of one of my recipes that you're like, whoa, I don't know how to do that one. You'll know because I will not go out of order. I'll make sure that you have the understanding and the tools that you need. Fantastic. And uh, by the time I'm done with you, you're going to love to cook. Now, now, I wouldn't really go ready. that far. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, more, I, <laughs> more enjoyable, I can see. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> because I'm a mom and because you know I just do about what, like 95% of the work around here, uh, how fat, how, yes, it's easy to make these recipes, but are they fast to make, or are they very ongoing, et cetera, et cetera? We have recipes that are extremely fast to make, like something as simple as a smoothie, and who doesn't know how to throw some berries and cream in it in a blender? Um, it's very um, inviting to try. And so, like, um, you're not going to find your average, basic, boring, cliche, brownie, cookie recipes from me. You're always going to find something that may, will make you go, hmm. I think I want to try that one. And it's going to be easier than you think the whole time through. And I'm going to bring this up because I thought it was so freaking cute how you explained it. Now, there's one, one thing you're not necessarily good at when it comes to cooking. And what is that? 
decorating you were talking about? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm legally blind. And so the whole decorating bit is a, is a challenge to me. I, I don't have the perfect eye. I have about 13% of my vision left. So to me, I have to impress people with the flavors so that they don't really care about how it looks. And, and I promise you, any basic chef that can, any basic mother or chef can decorate as well as I can. And I, I've been paid quite a bit for my food. In a different <laughs> state, my, I, I lived in New, in New Mexico before here. <laughs> of course, of course, for legal reasons. <laughs> Don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> um... Is there anything else you want to add? Um, I just want people to be open and not afraid to ask questions because that's the best way to learn. And it's always okay if you have to repeat something more than once to get it right because, like, that's, that's what we did in school. We repeated things to learn them and grow. Mm-hmm. And so, as long as we continue that practice through life, then that's all we can do. And considering working on our health and health benefits, this is a very, very important lesson to learn. Yeah. I agree. Um, I also want to add that if anybody has any questions about said recipes that I share, we'll be sharing a, a recipe for Mama Kaboon's cookbook uh, once a week. And if you have any quest- questions about said recipe, um, I can definitely ask her and share that the answer with you, etc. Uh, also, I want to say I will be doing the recipes I will be physically doing the recipes in Ohio, in a legal state. Uh, The only thing that Mama Kaboom is doing is giving me the recipe and pointers. Like she would anyways. (laughs) But thank you very much, Mama Kaboom, 